you're enjoying the music. Woo! But you're not gonna get any from me. Uh, sadly, I'm the guy who thinks open mic, stand up. I'm that jackass. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna get the elephant out of the room first. Uh, these. No, they don't look good. Uh, I did it because I want to do something stupid for under $100. Wife wouldn't let me buy weed and bring it on the boat, so I did this instead. Uh, so this is, let me, oh, yeah, this is the first time I've done stand-up. Uh, fuck, no, no that's, that's an old joke, I'm sorry. You only get to use that with one stuff. Uh, no, I actually moved down to Chicago right as I turned 18. I went to Second City and Improv Olympics down there, and I did improv and stand-up. Um, but now when I hang out with friends and, you know, I didn't go to college, so they're like talking about degrees, like, oh, I got a BA in this, I got my master's in that, I'm in grad school, like, oh, what, do you, what did you do? Like, got a degree in funny. <laughs> and like most other college graduates, I'm not using it. So, uh, but no, it does lead to a lot of conversations about, oh, what is doing stand-up like? I always wanted to do it, but I'm scared. What's it like? And so, well, for me, it's like having sex for the first time. You know, it, it's a little bit longer and less people laugh, but it's very similar. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it wasn't until I got on the boat that I realized how much the internet is like a drug for me. Like, and I'm hooked. Like, I got on the boat and I'm not, I'm not gonna pay the Wi-Fi prices, but I miss it. I really think we should start like an Internet Addicts Anonymous for the Sea Monkeys. Nah, uh, I'll start it out. <clears throat> Hi, my name is Donald. Hi, Donald. We found the alcoholics. <laughs> I haven't used in four days, and I was going really strong until earlier today at a rum tasting on the island. I swear to God, Tart the cat just came right up to me and was like, can I have cheeseburger? <laughs> and I wanted to give it to him. But no, honestly, on, on the rum tour, there was a little cat and came right up and did not give a fuck that 40 other people were there. It had to be, and it did. <laughs> and we took pictures. <laughs> oh, uh, so how many single guys are here today? Okay, a couple. Many, so I'm guessing you didn't pay for Wi-Fi, so what's it like jerking off in the 1980s? <laughs> <laughs> women, women, don't worry, I'm gonna ask about the double clickers, but I hear there's a show you're doing tomorrow, so I'll just wait to watch. <laughs> Ooh, controversy. <laughs> But uh, so I don't look like it, but I did do a 5K a few years ago. Um, oh, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, so I did a 5K, and during it, you know, it's three miles, I'm going good into the last mile, and, you know, I'm walking every 30 seconds and running, and there's another guy doing the same thing, we keep getting just a little bit ahead of each other, and going back and forth until finally we look, we meet eyes, and we both have the exact same thought at the exact same moment, which is, I'm beating that fat guy. <laughs> So we just start running and we're going and we're all the way there until the last 30 seconds I just, I full out sprint and I finally beat him and because I did that I made my goal of like under 40 minutes and I never got to talk to the guy later and because you know I, I made my goal, I was ecstatic that day, I wasn't sore and I just, I know if I ever met that guy in person and got to talk to him, I'd be like, ha ah, ha I beat you fucker! <laughs> but uh, no and I met my, my wife soon, uh, then, just random person, I met on the internet, but I met my wife. And it was great because she wasn't crazy like most of my other exes. Uh, one of my favorite stories in particular is this girl I dated. Um, she was a huge downer, like literally friends wrote a sketch about a guy saving the day with a rainbow. And she ruined it. She's like, well, that means all my homework is done and Donald will be here. I, I don't have to worry about anything, I love him. And my friend's just like, dude, she brings down rainbows. You just you gotta break up with her. And finally, a couple months, I took their advice and I was like, I'm done. So I'm on the phone and you, know, you get in there, you're like, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And then they start crying and begging to stay and give it a try. And you're like, I can't do this to that poor woman. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. And as I was about to do it, I, I hear a knock on the window and a picture of an upside down rainbow that just says she brings rainbows down <laughs> comes and I get all that guile back. I'm like, no, I'm out. I'm out. You bring rainbows down. Click. Uh, so that's my time. That's my five. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys.